So, Miss Jacqueline, are you ready? Go ahead and clear the uh, rifle. Okay, you have a magazine on you? Go ahead and load it properly. Then check your position and let me put my ears on. Today on Eric Lawrence VSS channel, we're going to show you a full training video on how to shoot a carbine. With me is our lady of the range, Jacqueline. Kevlar on. See how things are properly done in the world, in true tactical situations, in true evolved training evolutions. Today we're going to start with uh, Miss Jacqueline teaching uh, some AR-15 marksmanship, but we're going to start with the 22 long rifle Smith & Wesson. We're going to go over the brutal basics all the way from uh, clearing the weapon, loading the weapon, uh, shooting it to what I consider center of the target, and also uh, clearing a hot weapon and clearing an empty weapon. So, Miss Jacqueline, are you ready? Okay, go ahead and clear the uh, rifle. Okay, you have a magazine on you? Go ahead and load it properly. And check your position. And let me put my ears on before you shoot. So with this first magazine, just aim the largest part of the lower target and practice pressing that trigger straight to the rear. And after uh, a full magazine, we'll see where the group is and make adjustments. Sounds good? Yep. Range is hot. So explain to everybody how I have the target broke down. So this is the center part of the target? Why? Because that's the center part of the human body? No. no. That's the center part of the available, the right. largest available target. Right, so when I track this is what I see subconsciously? Correct. So this is where I'm aiming at? Actually it does help. So I can make adjustments if I need to. Obviously my grouping is much lower but that grouping thinking. may be somebody else's zero it may be uh whoever shot that gun prior sees the optic differently and uh, i would say that zero is correctly right there and we'll just adjust it up so when we're practicing you'll know the zero okay sound good sounds good okay, okay. load and make ready same nah that bolt release you gotta say it out loud while we're learning. So remember the trigger we talked about, the stance we spoke about? Yep. And we adjusted the sight, so it should be spot on. Range is hot. Go ahead and check your natural point of aim. This time we're going to be shooting in the uh, upper panel. I'll call it the head. No muscular tension from her core. Go ahead and load and make ready. So she's checking her natural point of aim so that all she has to do is raise the rifle and put the dot on it. 
Okay, a little ready. We're going to shoot the head. I'll call the number of shots. Shooter ready? Two. Five. Make sure to breathe. Three. Yeah, we got to start keeping uh, one in there. You can load one. And I'll catch your reload, okay? So just drop the, you know, just press the button, let the mag fall, and go for your reload, okay? okay. Got it? Yep. Uh, leave it unloaded. Oh, put it on safe. Okay, let's go look. Got to settle down that group. Don't get scared because it's ahead. It's the point where you're aiming. Right here. What do you say? Get better. Yeah, just get the sight right, breathe. Let's go do it. Make sure to hit your bolt release. Don't pull the charging handle back. Put your bolts already to the rear. Okay. Nick, ready? Headshots. Two. from the low ready. One. Five. Two. Anytime it comes off your shoulder, you can put it back to safe, okay? One. Okay, I'm gonna change it up. Four to the body. Four. Two to the head. Two to the head. Five to the body, two to the head. One to the body. One to the head. Five to the body. Two to, two to the, the body. body. Now see where you're hitting out there? Don't follow the hole. Don't follow the hole because you're putting them through that hole because you can see the hole. Okay. I want you to see where it's supposed to be quartered. So I want an inch below that hole. Okay. okay. Make the inch below that not out. Just put a hole right there. But that teaches what the optic does. Your eye, your eye sees a hole. You're gonna put every bullet through there. You kind of did it on the bottom one too. You got away from the center. I don't want you looking at that hard at the, at the shot. I want you looking at the target. Okay. So ignore the hole. Yeah. If you're look, if you're looking enough to see the hole, you're slow. Just pull it up and shoot. Pull it up and shoot. Pull it up and shoot. Okay. We'll take a break after this one. Okay.
Fire for the body. Fire to the head. Two to the head. Five to the head. Four to the body. Anywhere you want. So, just to recap real quick, you're going to get your stance. Well, you point that way a lot. There you go. Because then, what I trick, I point this foot at the target, can't this one out, but not my hips. Oh, can't my hips out. Think about kicking. You know, where are you going to generate your power from? Hip rotation. Correct. But when we're shooting, we're not moving our hips. So now, this is our fight. This is, you know, we're not slinging a whole. So hey, bad guy. Correct. But if you do hit square to the target, it brings your chest plate to the target. Then if you do that when you would present, you're you're gonna get to try. Because otherwise, then I have to angle. Or this, I don't even know where that comes from. I've never seen it. So the gun's on safe. The bolt's already to the rear, but you can always turn to look and make sure. And then you turn it back, and then you insert. Now when we're inserting, think about this. If we're doing a, we don't want to do an administrative reload with a pistol, so we don't want the one with a rifle either. So we'll bring it back into our working space. I muzzle target, so they're in line. So you pull that magazine out of your pocket. You have to look? You have to look to get your magazine? No. Okay. Pull it out. I'm pointing, right? I'm pointing, right? I'm pointing with however I get a hold of it. I'm pointing. So I don't have to look, right? So when, the only time I have to look is when it's about to go into magazine well. I look at the mag well, I get it started, and I'm back on target. And then I press it, target, bolt, shot. Okay. And then you're ready to get into your ready position. Okay. So, okay. I want you to load from this one. I hate to do it, but it's just the way we are right now. So. Or no, load from this one, and then when you reload, go to your lower one, okay? okay. Gonna be behind the camera. So, talk me through it. What are you going to do? I'm going to hit the bolt finish, bolt release. It's already back. Oh, it is already back, so yeah. I'm just going to pull the charging hand. Oh, no, it's already quick. It's already back. Always just check the status. That's what it's All the gun the things are what they are. The terminology is what's thrown me Correct. Around. But it's just what it does. Yeah. That's the beauty of a gun. It's what it is. Right. Bolt release is the bolt release. Right. The bolt hold open device is the bolt open, open device. device. Okay. So boom, lock yep. it to the rear. Boom. Yep. Now get, now. I go back to holding your rifle correctly. Okay. Now you can look at the chamber. Ah, slow down and look. There you go. Now you would reload. And then you'd be up and ready. There you go. So go ahead and unload. Back chamber. Perfect. See what I mean? Perfect. That's all the faster you have to unload. Okay? If you're doing any faster, you're going to skip the step and you're going to get ahead of yourself. Police is up here. Both catches here. Okay. 
it catches the bolt. Bolt. Okay. <laughs> so if I put my mag in, bolt source the thing out. Bolt, catch, lock the, lock the charging handle to the rear. Write it, write the action forward. Visualize, make sure nothing's inside. Mag is in, tug, remove the source of feed. Gonna hit the bolt, bolt catch, lock the charging handle to the rear, write it forward. Visually inspect the gun, it's empty. We want to inspect the chamber and then the ejection port viewing through the, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. The chamber is the most important part. Make sure, empty. Now I'm going to put tug, hit the bolt release, good to go. Gonna remove source feed, hit the bolt, catch, lock the charging handle, write it forward, visually inspect, good to go. Gonna put the mag into the gun, bolt release, boom, low ready, up, remove. Remove the ammo, remove the source feed, bolt catch, lock the charging handle to the rear, ride it forward, visually inspect the chamber and the mag well. Perfect. <laughs> so now we're going to load and make ready. So I'm going to call out either body or head and the number of shots. And this will be more of a combat speed to where it will be quick sight pictures versus deliberate sight pictures. Shooter ready. Chest five. Faster. Chest two. Chest three. Head two. Head three. Chest five. Body two. Body five. Use a rhythm this time. Body five. One and two and three and four and five. Body five. Now next time speed it up. Five. Faster. Five. Okay. okay, five in a fast rhythm. When I say fast five. We're gonna give up a little accurate. Okay. Fast. Now this mag, I want you to shoot fast, okay? Your fast wasn't fast. And you're, you're a good enough shot, you can do it. You're hit, you got good hits. But I want that trigger reset, bang, click, bang, click, bang, click, bang, click. You gotta make your money on the reset, okay? Just two groups of five on your own, okay? Quit worrying about the sight. Get five on him. There you go. Lean. Lean forward. There you go. Well, let's go look. Right. Yeah. Remember our combat accuracy. The groups we accept are going to open up a little bit. Remember, a lot of these were your first groups. So I wouldn't even count them. That's your group, and you barely opened it up any. You know, you easily opened it up there. So we're gonna do that drill again. You were shooting too slow. You were thinking too much. Concur? Correct. Thinking is bad. Yes. Okay, reloading from the Rhino rig. There we go. 
Now this drill, she's gonna shoot whatever she needs to to work on her uh, combat speed, maintaining what we consider combat accuracy. And it'll be at her pace. Range is hot. You got two mags to practice. I'll shut up. Subconscious redirection, also. Of, hey, it's fucking empty. I'll look real quick. Drop that. And there's no, I feel the no trigger reset. Well, you can. Yeah. Yeah. You'll feel the bolt lock to the rear, too. And then a bigger rifle. So I go to fire. I got nothing on the second one. I look, there's nothing there. Drop it, grab the next one. Positive reinforcement. Don't worry about those. We're training. Look how many are good. Don't look at the two that are bad. Make sense? Yeah. How do you think since this morning till now? Much better. How much rifle have you shot? Uh, barely anything. I've only shot a rifle, I think, three times. That's it. Incredible improvement. Does it help to move that... that this yeah, rear foot yeah back. if you have to, of course. That's your anchor. See what I mean? Yeah. So now for an after point of aim's correct, and the gun goes like that, we're right to the target, right? Yeah, it's, it's, the management's a lot better that way. Okay, so don't move your feet. Keep moving them. Keep changing everything. Okay. Trigger placement. Yeah. Go ahead and present. Close your bolt. So hit the bolt release. Present. Finger on the trigger. So you've got it all the way in there. I'd like you to try to do that. Kind of try like that. Nothing else is touching the gun but that trigger finger. I want it to come straight back from this knuckle. Not this knuckle. Okay? So just press it to the rear. Well, let's put it on fire. Okay, press it to the rear and hold it. Okay, hold it. Release the reset. Make sense? Yep. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So lock your bolt to the rear.
Now when you take a break, put it on safe. Anytime you're not shooting, it goes back on the safe automatically. Get the reps in, right? Yep. Now don't get a little lazy on that belt leg. Get that belt, there you go. There you go, perfect. Perfect. That was a really good group. Lock it to the rear. Yeah. Sound safe? Okay. Ah, look at the difference. So explain what we did back there. So you helped zero in my rifle when we were back there, so I was so I originally was aiming here, but my zero was here. So you changed it to where when I was back there, you zeroed it out to here. So now my my grouping is. A How lot did better. I do that? By changing my. What was the theory on that? The theory. I had you aim at your old aim point. Right, and then you and had, we you had dialed me. the dot to right. the group. So you had me aim at my old aim point, and then you dialed you dialed it in to. Um, so this makes sense. Yes, absolutely. You're demonstrating. Everything's cleaning up here. Your stance was good. I'll work a little bit on recoil management this time. When you get a little lazy and you get a little back, I'll do a push. Okay. But when in doubt, feel your toes crinkle because that tightens that fascia all the way up. And then as you present, that's when you can tighten the rifle. When you're not, you're relaxed. When you're shooting, it's tight. When you're not, it's relaxed. You can have a little tension on it. That's when it's tightening the fascia when that happens. And then, and then just transition from ready if I start to feel my shoulder kind of. Like, yeah. you know, just. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Take a break whenever you need. Out of the You're hole. talking about 20 plus years of. <laughs> I know, but it's working. So, I want you to get better about locking the bolt to the rear. I want you to get better about the charging handle. If you pull it back, it goes forward. And. Um, Safety manipulation every single time. Okay. okay. Let's go ahead and load and make ready. So with this drill, we're just going to shoot multiple round drills. I'll call out the number of shots and uh, go ahead and get in your low ready. So I'm going to have the front of the barrel just below their feet. Yep. You're aiming so towards them, but you're not at them. Right. That way I can see the top of the optic just as it's so when I pull it, there you go. Four. Two. Fire for one. 
this was already to the rear, right? Mm -hmm. So if you, if you press this in, push and tug, reach this thumb up. So I go to shoot. Click. That hammer's fully engaged. There was nothing there. So, but if it would have fired, it would have done that. It would have locked to the rear. So I would have dropped the magazine, grab the next magazine, pull this poor bad guy, point with my thumb. That's it. Go ahead and reload. Five. Over the optic, you want to be using that. You want to look over it, not through it. Two. One. Five. Two. 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 I guess it works. Explain uh, how you're targeting it so quickly. So what I'm doing is on the low ready, I'm having the top of the optic right below. I'm having the barrel right below the bad guy's feet. So that way when I pull up to present, I'm already right there. So my grouping is consistent through there. Yeah. Really tight group. That's a really good trigger reset. Your reset on the video is going to look really well. And there's no wasted motion. We just need to work a little more on the uh, manipulation between reloads. And, and we haven't had any malfunctions, so we'll have to go over that too. But how do you feel? Come on, give me a... Uh, great. There you I go. wasn't able to do that before, ever. Case of beer. Yep. Okay, reloading from the Rhino rig. She's going to shoot whatever she needs to to work on her uh, combat speed. Maintaining what we consider combat accuracy. And it'll be at her pace. Range hot. cannot be at the same speed because you have less fudge in the head. So you might shoot five real fast, bang, 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 then the body because you know you have fudge. Your head, you might be bang, 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 bang. Okay? This will be the last set of drills with this rifle. Then we'll transition to 5.56. Five, okay. Okay. Are you happy with that? Very. 500 rounds. Again. Out of 500 rounds, two are out of the target zone. And again, I've only shot a rifle three times before this. Yeah. Now we're going to shift to 5.56 five, and apply the exact same fundamentals, but with a little bit of noise and a little bit of recoil. And load up.
go ahead and practice working on the sling usage. Get that sling redone. Just go low, low ready to get it ready. It's all new. Make sure to tense at the time of the shot. Drop that elbow down. I want you using that sling. Should I be more aggressive? Forward? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're there. You go. Drop that foot back. Good. Much better. Okay. Look where your low ready is. Who are you scaring? There you go. Drop that elbow. We want to use that sling. We want to use that sling. It's for tension, not for carrying. It's not a black purse. Lean, get back that aggressive. You lighten back up. Am I aiming too high? No. Sight is zeroed for 100. yards. And we're at 25. So, it's so if me. we're under the zero, we're going to have to aim higher, higher, ballistically compensating for the difference in so uh, aim sight and height. Here. Yeah. Just look at the, do the middle of your group, figure out your distance high. Okay, we shot yesterday with you know basic fundamentals. Now we're going to start working the same fundamentals, but at distance. Okay. So we're going to start at the 100 meters, which is your left target. Full magazine, I want you to properly load it. Engage, take your time. Breathe in, breathe out, press trigger. Remember, it's a two-stage trigger. So get your, go up to the wall, breathe in, breathe out, press trigger. Okay, load up, make ready. Uh-huh. You gotta lock the bolt to the rear. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but let's do it right. Let's do it right. Pull it out. You always gotta know the status of your weapon. And we always load from a bolt. Nope. We're going, no, we ain't loading from there. We're already in combat now. Okay. Okay. Nope, it's gotta come back further. It's all not all the, all the way back. There you go. Now look, see how far it's back? Big difference. So go ahead and come back down with your sling. And okay, so yesterday we shot the basic fundamentals. Uh, furthest we shot was 50 yards. Now we're with the 5.56, with the uh, Vortex, we're probably just gonna stay on one power. We'll check that once you, you look. But I want you to fire you know, one magazine into the 100 meter target, which is the target all the way to the left, taking your time. Breathe in, breathe out, press trigger. Remember, it's a two-stage Geisley trigger. So you have four pounds and then one pound. When you reset, you'll be back to the one pound. But just take your time. When you need a break, take a break. Just do it safely and do your good low ready, okay? Go ahead and load and make ready. Line's hot. Do you want to change the power magnification? A little bit. Hold them. Don't move your feet. You just change your whole natural point aim if you move your feet, right? There we go. Okay, so check your natural point of aim. Close your eyes, move the rifle around, bring it back up. Are you correct left and right? If not, scoot a foot forward or back.
pretty aggressive. You only move one foot at a time. You don't move both feet. The target will tell. Once you start shooting, you will not move your feet. So if you're off here, you're going to be off down there. So get it right. To the body? All to the body. Get this stance a little more aggressive. Can I tighten up the sling a little bit? Yeah, you moved your feet. Sorry. Just bring your elbow down. It's only 100 yards. When you come off the uh, target, you have to go back on the safe. It's not that far. Don't think it's too far. It's not that hard of a shot. Toes and he uh, knees. Really good. Toes and knees. over your toes, a little bit at the belt, mm, you, you just slung that one. Good shot, that was a good one. on safe before you bring it down. You tuckered out, aren't you? A little bit, yeah. Uh -huh. It's okay. Work on that back. A lot of lat pull downs. I want you to get to the point where you do a reload. It's almost empty. Thirty rounds have never been so many. Pretty good though. Okay.
Okay, you got one round. So we're going to do a reload, okay? So think about it before you do it. Okay, so you're going to come up and shoot you one round. It's going to lock the rear. It's going to look real quick. Put it on safe. Go to your reload. Drop the mag as you're going, okay? Okay, put it on safe. That's a point of aim. That's a point of aim. We're at 200 meters. That's going to be the middle target. Since we're shooting the vortex, it has the bullet drop compensator reticle. That's going to be the, the width underneath the 100 that matches the target at 200. Do you concur? I concur. Do you concur with the concurrence? So you're loaded and ready. What's your excuse going to be? I'm in front of me. Yeah, you get natural point of aim, you get it up on target, you breathe in, breathe out, take slack out of the trigger, press it, reset. If you're ready to shoot again, do it. If not, come down and get ready for the next shot. Reload on this one too. Or just... Oh yeah, always. We want. So now we're going to shoot at the 200 uh, meter target. You got 30 rounds, you got your power set on two, and that's nobody's low ready. Fix that. Got your sling ready. So if you're good with your natural point of aim, uh, the line's hot for you. It's on you. Now remember, you can't hold it 100% steady. You gotta get happy with the wobble, know where the trigger is. Finish the press when the crosshair is where you want it. Second crosshair down. You're not using that sling. At distance, you have to use that sling to hold the gun. There you go. There you go. Make sure to take a break if you start fluttering. You start fluttering, that, that just proves the fact that you're not getting enough oxygen. Relax that eye. There you go. That was a good shot. There you go. Good shooting. Don't jerk it, shoot it. Regular button button. Sling working? Yep. Okay. Makes a big difference. Imagine if you didn't have it. Or a single point. You you'd feel like an ass. Right.
That was a great trigger press. Almost there. Press. There you go, just press them, let them go off. We'll never press the trigger when you're checking to see if there's something in it. You press the trigger. Finger off the trigger. You can look if you want, put it on safe, then reload it, but you don't touch the trigger. Let me, uh, let me shoot some. So I'm gonna shoot the new uh, Vortex Optic I have on two power. This is the Razor HD. We're at 200 meters, so just gonna plank and see what it does. I'm going to bring it down to one and a half power to look at that. Really wobbly. Well, let's go look and laugh. Yeah, that's good. This one I have no idea. So I'm going to shoot the new uh, Vortex Optic I have on two power. This is the Razor HD. We're at 200 meters, so I'm just going to plank and see what it does.
wobbly. Make ready. It's on you. What do you do? Tap the magazine? Nope. You tap it with your left hand. Rock the bolt with your left hand. Re-engage. At that point, don't even worry about your sling. After two days of thorough training on safety and all the basics of firing a carbine, how did our Lady of the Range, Jacqueline, do? For a first timer at 100 meters from the standing position, achieving more than a 90% hit accuracy. And this is a pretty incredible feat for the first time shooting that distance and that position. And her accuracy at 200 meters is quite acceptable also. Take a look at Jacqueline's performance. You ready, Scarback? Yep. <laughs> can I? Can that be my call sign? Uh, not yet. You got to earn it. <laughs> no, that's just a preliminary. Okay. Go ahead and load, Mike. Ready? Oh my God! That sling is violating you. I know. Bring the muzzle down. There you go. Wow. I think it won that round. Good. So on you. Get on this toe. For more videos on safety, military methods, security training and tactics, Along with weapons handling, don't forget to subscribe to Eric Lawrence VSS and visit eric-lawrence.com for more info. If you're looking for products that I carry, visit shop.vig-sec.com.